So quite a long time ago I started creating preset packs for my Patreons. Each month I upload a pack with 10 presets concentrating on one module or idea. The presets themselves contain the modules and the connections already made. This month I made a preset pack um, on Interzone, concentrating on Interzone from Valley. And let me show you how it works. So I use the strip module from Sturmelder which allows me to save modules with the connections. In the right click menu, if you load the, the strip module, you have the preset menu. And here you can open the folder and copy all of the presets there. You can see I have here already a few different collections. And if, for example, I select something from the latest collection, from the Interzone collection, just a preset, you can see it loads the modules. Now to create a preset, I use um, my MIDI controller just because it's easier to concentrate on the sound. So it loads with the MIDI to CV module that you can use also your keyboard or it, uh, you can easily also change it to a sequencer. I will show you in a second also an example of a preset. And uh, in each preset there is also there are also some notes just explaining some stuff about the presets if there is something special you need to know or to activate or to change um, or a few ideas how to use the preset. Now a cool thing about the strip module that if you activate or if you enable load and replace you can choose a different preset let's say I choose a different one it will replace the modules you see it replaced the modules that were there and loaded a different preset and again it will load all of the modules with the connections already made usually the uh, module on the far right is the output module that you connect to the output or to the mixer or to different effects, reverbs, delays, and so on. So let me show you an example here in context. I have here a patch. So again, this month is all, it's all about interzone. So the preset itself starts here. You can see here it says preset and here preset. This is the preset, right? You can see the modules and the connection. Again, I create the presets with my MIDI keyboard, but in this case, I remove the MIDI module and I'm using a sequencer instead. This is a sort of a polyphonic uh, voice, uh, just creating some chords. So I'm using a polyphonic sequencer. And again, this is all in the notes of the preset, so it will sound like this. All right, so this is the preset itself with some send reverb added. And now what I did, I added another layer to this. So I sent a copy of it to a delay and a filter. Again, you can use it in your patch however you like. So this is another layer. And again, just to hear it in context, I have here also some drums with a gate sequencer and a few drum modules. And I have here another preset that is from a previous collection. If you sign up to Patreon, you get the latest preset pack and all of the previous ones that you can use and explore. So this one is from a preset pack I made all of um, bass sounds. So again, this is the preset itself. You can see a few FM operators. This is sort of an FM bass. With the mixer, this is how the preset loads. I just removed the MIDI module and the notes. And instead of a MIDI, I'm using the bass module in this case from Sively just to get the bass note of this chord all the time. And I'm also sending it to a, a sidechain compression to co uh, sidechain it to the, to the kick drum. Right, so again, each month I'm preparing a preset pack with 10 presets, with the modules, with the connections already made that you can load quite easily with the strip module. And again, if you sign up, you get this pack and all of the previous ones, which is quite a lot, I guess. It's more than a year that I'm making this. <laughs> um, and that's it. Cheers.